Hey YouTube, it's Yesh here, YeshuaBoyton.com and in this video I want to talk to you about fear, the spirit of fear. Now if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me trying to help you grow in faith, trying to help you experience the gospel and then walking the gospel out daily. So if you want to see more content, just subscribe and check out the other awesome videos on this channel. Now talking about fear, this could relate to people that are afraid of all kind of things. Fear comes in all shapes and forms and it can be uh, like anxiety, like real heavy or it can be you know something simple but fear is a serious spirit. Now as I already said fear can come in different shapes. It can be you know super crazy on one side of the spectrum kind of like being absolutely afraid of the smallest things like having anxiety, uh, having fear attacks, not being able to step out of the door, uh, you know, being afraid of the unknown, like, oh, what if, you know, what if this happens, you know, what if I step into the car and then this happens, or what if I, you know, go out of the house and I forget to turn up the, the, the stove or, you know, all these kind of things. And then you can go on, on the other side of the spectrum and there's you know fear like fear of the dark fear of phoning someone that's actually you know there fear of doing something unusual fear of leaving your comfort zone fear of death fear of losing someone and you name it there are so many fears out there but what you have to be aware of with fear it's not just an emotion and it's not just something that you know comes over you you know from time to time you have to know that fear is a spirit it's a spirit sent to kill steal and destroy you it is sent to keep you bound and to keep you where you are so that you would not step forward so that you would not get out of your prison basically that fear tries to put you in and the world gives you all kind of solutions for it all kind of motivational speakers that tell you that you have to do these, that and those things and routines and uh, whatnot, you know, then of course medicine and psychiatrist and psychology and all this uh, stuff is out there but they only can treat the flesh and the physical kind of like natural realm. There will always be arrest, fear, anxiety or being afraid, always. Because there's only one way how you really can be truly set free and that is through Jesus. Only Jesus can truly set you free because it's only Jesus who died for you and rose again for you so that you could be free and set free forever. That you could stand there after you're free and say, hey, you know, God truly touched me and set me free. Only Jesus can do this for you. The first step for this is of course to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior and to turn from your ways and to turn to Jesus and follow Him radically and fully. But beyond that, Jesus wants to touch you and lead you into a process of deliverance and true healing because fear usually is always connected to a deeper root. Now I would like to read something to you out of the Bible that's in uh, the New Testament, it's in Romans chapter 8 and I read the verses 14 to 17 and it says there For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God so those are the people that gave their life to Jesus and follow Him, are filled with the Holy Spirit and just live a life with Jesus and listen to the Spirit and follow Him and His lead and now we know that Paul writes to the Christians where it says in verse 15, for you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with Him, that we may also be glorified together. Paul is saying here, hey, you should not be bound in fear. You, do, you did not receive that spirit, not the emotion, not that feeling. The spirit 
of fear which brings it into a bondage which if you are struggling with this then you know it is like slavery it's like being bound you cannot just get on oh, it's just there and you can't do anything about it it is bondage but the Holy Spirit is trying to also tell you here through his word that there is a spirit of adoption that God wants to give you instead of that spirit of fear which if you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior you can become a child of God. That means you enter into a relationship with Abba, Father. That's what that means. Papa, Daddy. Like, you know, that intimate child, father relationship. Abba, Father, Daddy, Father. The Papa, as we say in Germany, Papi, Father relationship. Where you can come anytime and anywhere and just, you know, open up to Him and give him everything where he takes out all this fear with his love because the Bible also says perfect love casts out fear perfect love what is perfect love God there's no better love there's no deeper love than the love of Father God in heaven and this is not a fluffy love this is not a love that just you know, sugarcoats everything. No, that's a love that tells you you gotta repent, you gotta turn from your ways, you gotta come to God and entrust your life to Him so that He can set you free from this spirit of fear. Now, I already made a video about how to do deliverance, but I would like to do another video about this, so stay tuned for that. If you watch this one first, I will definitely link it up up here as soon as it is ready but for now I want to tell you and give you that solution that you have to give your life to Jesus and that you have to repent also ask for forgiveness for giving into fear and enjoying fear maybe even I don't know and giving fear that room in your life see what you got to do is you got to choose Jesus instead of fear whom do you want to follow whom do you want to be a bond servant too, as the Bible says. Whom do you want to stick close to? Do you want to stick close to fear or to Jesus? If your answer is, well, I don't want, I don't want fear and I don't want Jesus, then I guess fear is still your friend. Because those who are desperate, who are desperately seeking deliverance and wanting to be free, they would take anything. And most of them already took everything. So if that is you, great. Because there is a solution. I'm not the solution. I only can point you to the solution. I don't, I don't even have the solution, but I can point you to the solution, which is Jesus and His power, His Holy Spirit that wants to set you free and wants to just fill you with His perfect love that casts out fear. He wants to give you that spirit of adoption where you feel warm and loved and welcomed and secure so if this video spoke to you and if you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior and if you want to receive deliverance then I would like to pray an introduction prayer and I would suggest to you that you know you just agree in your heart with it if you want to and if you, if you can agree and want to agree and beyond that that you just go before Jesus yourself and you can just pray just as I speak right now as you speak to your friends as you speak to your parents uh, or anyone else you can just speak to God it's as easy as that there's no formula and if you just speak out of your heart if you just speak your mind that's what he hears so just give it all to him seek him meaning to say pray and go to him and start that process in the relationship with him i would like to pray jesus i thank you right now for all the people watching this and especially for the ones that this video is relevant to thank you holy spirit that you want to move right now and in jesus name i ask you that you would touch them all the people watching in jesus name father we give you everything that we're struggling with especially that fear god every person that has not given her or his life to you yet, Jesus, I ask you that you would come in right now, that you would come into their hearts and into their lives, 
God, we give you our whole life. We surrender to you. God, we tried it so far in our own strength and have come so far and it doesn't work in our strength because otherwise we wouldn't be here watching this video right now. So Jesus, we're stretching out to you and God, I pray right now for deliverance. I release deliverance in Jesus' name. I bind and break the spirit of fear, any fear in Jesus' name and I command it to leave in Jesus' name. And I release healing where it is needed and deliverance right now, wherever there is bondage of the spirit of fear, loose right now in Jesus' name. And I release the spirit of adoption over everyone watching. Thank you, Father, that you come right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you move right now and that you touch that person watching. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God, we give you all the glory. And I ask you, Father, that you would go deeper right now with that person. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it a lot. I thank you for all the comments and for the love and for the encouragement you sent me. Thank you also for your video idea. I definitely take it to heart and um, we'll implement it and see that I maybe do a video about that in the next days or next week, I will see. Hey, if you think this video could help someone, then share it. Share it with someone, share it on social media or somewhere where it could help someone. Because this is what this video is for, this channel is for. This channel is to help you grow in faith and not just you, also the other people out there and to experience the gospel and then to walk it out daily. So get it out there, get the word out there. Not my word, but God, God's word and uh, just be a witness in that sense. So I'm looking forward to the next video tomorrow. Until next time, God bless you.